Tesla is leading the EV battery game. They lean on multiple battery-producing partners, owns a battery factory with Panasonic, and recently unveiled a tabless battery that would improve an electrical car's range and power. The company will produce its new batteries in-house, which Tesla CEO Elon Musk predicts will help dramatically reduce costs to eventually sell electric vehicles for the identical price as gasoline-powered ones. Will this be the opening towards cheaper electric vehicles in the future? In today's video, we will go over the good and the bad of these newly developed batteries. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we get to it, make sure to use that like button and subscribe if you feel like staying updated. According to a report by Karen Energy Research Advisors, Tesla pays far less for its batteries than the competition. On average, Tesla pays $142 per kilowatt hour versus the $169 per kilowatt hour paid by GM. The industry average is set for $186 per kilowatt hour. The battery is anticipated to lower Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour, the unit of energy most ordinarily used to measure the capacity of the battery packs in modern electric vehicles. Many experts believe that lowering these costs would allow Tesla to dramatically lower the worth of its cars, thereby making them way more accessible. The news of the new battery was announced during the company's much-hyped Battery Day event late last summer in Palo Alto, California. Musk said Tesla achieved this breakthrough by removing the tab part of the battery that forms a connection between the cell and what it's powering. These new tabless cells, which Tesla named 4680 cells, will give the company's EV batteries five times more energy capacity, make them sixfold more powerful, and enable a 16% range increase of Tesla's vehicles. The tabless cells were among the primary announcements from Tesla's battery day. The tabless electrode would make battery production faster. It will also increase efficiency and reliability for the battery. By removing the tab, the connection can make use of tabs or spikes that connect onto components that won't require welding. The look increases the conductivity via the reference to less electrical phenomenon to transfer energy more efficiently. This may be useful for supercharging and fast charging Tesla vehicles. The battery's disadvantage. Tab is welded to the foil, which you'll see protruding from above. The electrode foil is about the identical thickness as ordinary kitchen foil, which makes welding the tongue with the electrode foil uncertain and error-prone. This increases the danger of defective items, such as a production process becomes more complicated and adds cost. Electrons must go from the whole sheet to the tap to exit the cell and contrary-wise. This is potentially a bottleneck, because the electrons move along the length of the sheet into which they cut, and also the temperature rises. Since electrons find the trail of least effort through the foil sheet, hotspots of electrical activity, called current deflection, are created, which also cause hotspots of chemical activity, where the present is the strongest. Only a skinny piece of metal is connected from the electrode to the cap of the cell. The temperature of a typical cell is tougher to regulate thanks to the smaller amount of conductive material connected to the cell. The tablet's design has several advantages. It is without tabs for welding, and this eliminates the step within the production process, and therefore the number of defective cells. The absence of bottlenecks means less resistance and warmth dissipation, and even the speed of chemical change through the active material. Around the entire edge, the electrode becomes a radiator, which perfectly cools the whole surface. Tesla had previously made gains in performance when shifting from 18650 cells to the larger 21700 design, but efforts to further increase cell size hit a brick wall. While larger cells can store more energy and deliver cost savings in production, thermal issues meant that charge times and discharge rates would be negatively impacted. Larger cells meant longer path lengths, with the upper resistance meaning less power output per cell and slower charging. Even with Tesla's fast charging technology, many still consider electric cars to charge too slowly, so this was one trade-off that wasn't worth making. The shingled spiral of the jelly roll in a very tabless battery, rather than one tab within the center of the jelly roll, the whole base enables current to flow to the active material. Enter tabless batteries. Instead of having a little battery tab attached to the anode and cathode respectfully, the complete anode and cathode foils are laser patterned and processed to own what are essentially many little tabs right along their length. Replaces the step of manually attaching separate tabs later within the manufacturing process. When the anode, cathode, and separator are all rolled up together, these many smaller tabs change shape to make a shingled spiral 
creating a way larger contact area between the active battery material and therefore the casing. This implies that the trail length for electrons to travel is way reduced. Tesla quotes the maximum amount as a five times reduction compared to previous designs. This can be thanks to the actual fact that electrons can now move directly towards the battery terminal, rather than having to require a more roundabout path to the middle of the sheet first to succeed in the single tap connection. The end result is the 4680 cell, named for its 46 mm diameter and 80 mm length. This is often a departure from the five-digit nomenclature, but nobody at Tesla could work out why 18650 cells have the trailing zero that the company eliminated it within the new cell's designation. The new cells are claimed to contain five times the energy of earlier designs because of their larger size. Even better, Tesla stated that they will deliver up to six times the facility because of the reduced electrical path length of tablet's construction, enabling better thermal performance. Estimates are that the switch to 4680 cells in Tesla's automotive packs could end in a spread gain of the maximum amount as 16%, a powerful number given the automaker's already impressive numbers during this area. For example, the latest Model S Plaid claims to possess a spread of 520 miles using the 4680 cells, which is expected late this year. The new design also brings production benefits by laser patterning the anode and cathode for direct connection instead of attaching separate tabs the materials are often handled through continuous roll processing not dissimilar from techniques in paper production this promises huge gains in production speed with machinery able to move at continuous high speeds rather than having to continually accelerate and decelerate for tab attachment to every anode and cathode sheet Tesla's goals to provide more batteries to satisfy demand aren't practically achievable with current production techniques, so improvements in processing and production speed are key to solving this problem. This may also result in reductions in cost, which may be a major part of the company's effort to provide a more accessible electric vehicle at the $25,000 price point. On the value side, the manufacturing process for these new anodes and cathodes is additionally a giant part of the story. Lithium-ion battery manufacturers use what's called a wet process for combining the raw materials and depositing them onto the foil to form an anode or cathode sheet. The powered materials are mixed in water or another solvent, coated onto the foil, so dried in huge ovens. The energy utilized in those drying ovens accounts for an outsized share of the entire energy in cell production. The method also incorporates a huge footprint on the factory floor. Obviously, another is attractive. This is where Tesla's 2019 acquisition of an organization called Maxwell Technologies comes in. The rumor mill has been in overdrive ever since, with battery-curious folks speculating about what the ultra-capacitor company that Tesla wanted. It seems that a dry process for manufacturing anodes and cathodes is what it wanted. It goes without saying that the industry is constantly in development. Batteries are key in today's automotive industry. All car brands invest heavily in their battery production and development. But although each brand has its way, Tesla continues to lead the industry, offering the longest range in their Model S. And with that said, we're ending the video. If you made it all the way until here, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one.